Today I'm going to show you how you can add mods, script mods, custom content or CC in The Sims 4. I'm just going to give you some very practical tips that I have learned throughout my Simmer journey. You might notice a cute CC on a CC website. I personally like to use this website, Max's Match CC World, because I like Max's Match CC. So custom content is basically anything that is an object, clothing, an object added to your game. But a mod is actually something that is related to a feature, right? It's adding a certain gameplay aspect to your game, right? So for instance, with this better build by, you can see the whole catalog. You can have a much more visible catalog in build and buy while building. You have a really clean UI, you have a loading screen. Whatever feature it adds to the game, this is a mod or a script mod, right? Starting out with CC, aka build items, accessories, you know, makeup, anything like that. When you see a CC like that and it just says recolor, you might tend to, you know, just save it. It looks nice. Okay. Once you install that recolor, you might see in the game that it doesn't show up. And why is that? That is because we need this country kitchen kit in the game. So if you don't have that pack, that recolor isn't going to show up. Same thing goes for tops or clothing. If you decide to download a recolor for a top and if you don't get the mesh, what's basically a mesh? The mesh is the base file. Think of it as a basic t-shirt, right? And on that basic t-shirt that you download, you can add a bunch of recolors, which are these ones. So we need to download the mesh from here. We need to download this as well as this recolor, okay? We can use the base file without the recolor, but we cannot use the recolor without the mesh, without the base file. Okay, let's get this outfit as well for reference. I really want you to show you how to install a mod as well. We're gonna go with the Better Exceptions mod. You've probably already heard about it. This is such a helpful mod when it comes to identifying broken mods, broken files into your game after update. How to add the mods and the CC in The Sims 4 in the game. We are going to have two windows opened at the same time. So the downloads folder or whatever your downloads location might be. The documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then the mods folder. The mods folder is where all of our CC, all of our mods are gonna go. We use the mods folder for both CC, which is which is clothing, accessories, items, basically objects, furniture, all that jazz, recolors, as well as the mods that add features. So both of them go into here, okay? If you've downloaded a RAR file, okay, right? This is an archive. This is an archive. If you don't have Windows 11 or if you aren't on a Mac, I highly suggest you get the WinRAR program from the official website. This is what I'm using and it works wonders for me. But if you're on Windows 10, you can basically double click on it and the file is going to open. You cannot simply put a RAR file, okay, a file that ends with RAR into the mods folder because the game isn't going to recognize it. That's why we need this WinRAR or we need to have Windows 11 or Mac to be able to double click on it without the WinRAR program. We're just going to click on it and we're only going to select these two. We don't need this PNG image file, only these two files. If it says package or TS4 script, you need to drag them right into the main mods folder. There might be some of you that really like to be organized, to have everything organized by categories, having different subfolders. And I liked that idea too, but sometimes certain CC, AKA the furniture, the objects, the items won't work unless they are into the main mods folder, like not into another folder inside the mods folder is what I'm trying to say. This is the CC. Now we have this mod. Okay, this is a zip file. So RAR and zip are both archives and need to be opened. And then we need to extract because what we are doing right over here is extracting files from an archive to our folder, right? So we need to select all of these, drag and drop 
replace because I already have them. Now we have this package file, which is a simple file. It doesn't come in an archive. So we can just simply paste it. If the file that we are talking about simply ends with package or TS4 script, you can simply drag and drop it. For those that end with RAR and zip, we need to use this program. We need to open the file and then extract the files. Um, and last but not least, we have another zip file. And you can see that even though there's only one, like a singular file inside this archive, it's still a zip file. It's still an archive. Because you might think, okay, in an archive, there might be lots and lots of files. But no, it can be a singular file. But this archive basically compresses minimizes the size of the file that's why the creators are using archives zip rar files and you can very easily and quickly download it like you don't have to download gigabytes and gigabytes of mods they are compressed the same thing click the file that is inside that ends with ts4 script drag and drop it don't extract png files because those are images and you don't necessarily need them those are previews of the CC, of the mod. You can open the game and go to Options, Game Options, and then Other, and tick both of these two boxes. Custom Content and Mods, as well as Script Mods Allowed. Another disclaimer, before installing mods, make sure they are up to date. I've talked about this in my previous video, apply changes, and we are going to restart our game. And now you should see this pop up. So we have this outfit, the fridge, you know, those recolors that, we, that we've talked about, and these mods. Another issue that might arise is that you say that certain CC or that certain mods appear in the CC section. It's most certainly because you haven't unzipped the content that's inside that archive. Rewatch this part. I'm going to insert the timestamp. Right. Now, if your mods and CC don't stay enabled, I have another video that should be of help. Let's just go to new game and see what cc we've installed it's an outfit we can basically very easily filter by content and then custom content and this is the cc that we've installed it's so beautiful it's so pretty again if it shows up weirdly make sure you have the mesh which is the base file alongside that recolor okay giving like old school old money type of style it is the better exceptions mod it's gonna scan your mods folder and it's gonna tell you hey you have a broken mod hey you don't have a broken mod inside your mods folder or in your game because it's basically the same thing so better exceptions did not detect any incompatible tuning mods there might still be some broken scripts or CC out there, but this is certainly a good start. Even with these mods, you have to keep them up to date and you have to manually detect what mods are broken. And you can do that by deleting every single TS4 script file inside your that is that's inside your mods folder and then that is inside your mods folder and then google all those mods download the latest updates only if there are any we don't want to have issues in the game the mods is working and we've properly added mods and cc into the sims 4 i truly hope this helped and i'll see you in my next video bye